Hi, my name is Jameson Blanford, Technical Marketing Engineer with Cisco Systems. Today I'm here to showcase the Cisco Bonjour Services Directory. What that is, is the Cisco Wireless Controller caching the Bonjour advertisements from an Apple TV or responding back to things like an iPad when it asks for AirPlay services. So now with that, let's go ahead and go into the demo. Now let's begin the demonstration by showcasing the Apple TV and the SSID an IP address that that device currently has. So as you can see, the SSID is services, and the IP address is in the 101032.x range. Now we'll go over to my iPad, and it's on a different SSID called clients. Now if we zoom into the IP address, you can see it has a 192.168.0.x IP address. So these two different devices, the Apple TV, the iPad, are on different layer three networks, and they can't talk to each other natively over Bonjour, so they need something like the Cisco Bonjour Services Directory to help them along. So to showcase that, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and try to mirror my screen over to that Apple TV. So if I double click, I can see that there is, in fact, an AirPlay icon showcasing that the Apple TV is gonna allow me to mirror my screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect from VGA, and then I can go ahead and mirror my screen onto that Apple TV. Once that screen's mirrored, I can do any number of things, you know, something critical to my business, such as giving a presentation. In this case, giving a presentation on some of the challenges and solutions of the Cisco uh, and Apple Bonjour protocol. So that is an example of having one iPad being mirrored over to the Apple TV. But what about other users? What about policy? So we're gonna bring in now another iPad, and we're gonna have it on a, to a different SSID, but in fact, it's on the same layer three network as the original iPad. So this iPad is on the student's SSID. Now if we drill down into that IP address, we can see we have a 192.168.0.x IP address. So the same as that original iPad, but if I go over and try to see if there's any AirPlay devices, the icon doesn't show up. The Apple TV for that particular SSID has been disabled so that only you can access those AirPlay services over the client's SSID. So this is an example of using the Cisco Bonjour Services Directory to execute policy and prevent certain users from using certain Bonjour services in your network. So what have we shown here today? We've shown the Cisco Bonjour Services Directory can help Bonjour devices that are on different Layer 2 networks speak Bonjour to one another because it caches the entries and responds back onto clients asking for services like AirPlay or printing. Now secondly, we've shown that you can take policy and apply that to Bonjour services, thus saying certain SSIDs are allowed to access the Apple TV, whereas other student SSIDs could be denied access to the Apple TV. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the Bonjour Services Directory.